Hello, Devil's Road tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years with me, Blue Anki. The last episode we started going through the Devil's Road. Today we will try to finish it. Looks like we got some more sort of. Do I have to cross all of them once? Looks like we got another sort of puzzle room. Everyone loves puzzle rooms. Okay, whenever we're fighting a Lilith, I should turn auto battle off so that doesn't happen. Oh, you just can't go through those when they're... You don't have to stand on them all, you just have to do them in order. Bonk. Unfortunately, we only have one character that really does significant damage here, so... The auto battle, as much as it's quicker, just ends up with the hooded man killing everything. Hmm. Maybe, maybe Cecil will get good enough. I mean, at uh, some point, he'll get another attack multiplier. Oh, that one pushed me back? How would... Hmm. Well, I made it. Well, I guess that's it. There may have been some treasure back there, but I didn't see any chests or anything, so... Welcome to Baron, everybody! There's a prince in the castle who's just about to come of age. Oh, I wonder who that is. Ha-ha! Yeah, King Cecil's pretty great. I'm sure Kane will show up one day. Hmm. Well, Baronian soldiers did blow up the town of Mist, so I guess... I guess that's understandable. Also, I should have checked. Thought there was a uh, secret around here before. Maybe not. I thought I remember having a wall you could get through, but... Eh. Doesn't seem to be. Oh, I'm sure everyone thinks Theodore should become a paladin. What do you think Theodore is going to decide to be, though? Could get him a better sword. Yeah. Invest in the future. Invest in weapons. Okay, now I know I bought him Gaia armor last time, and it has like three magic defense. But that's a lot of physical defense. We could spend a lot of money here. Hmm. Interesting. The original game rarely made you make a choice between defense and magic defense. 7 and 2 versus 5 and 5. I mean, 5 plus 5 is 10, which is more than 7 plus 2 is 9. That'll be a straight upgrade for them. They'll probably leave, like, instantly now. 5 and 1 versus 3 and 5. That's 6 versus 8. It looks like the magic armor is all around better. I don't think, uh... That two and one makes much difference there. Did I forget to equip his sword? I forgot to equip his sword. Hmm. 
We don't have a lot of money right now. You know, we never use these things. Maybe I will this time. <laughs> Maybe. Well, the level one, we'll never use a level one item, will we? I'm feeling generous. We bought everything but the Sage's Surplus for, for those guys. That'll be pretty sturdy. That's fine. We just have to do a little bit of shopping while we're here. Alright, that'll do. <laughs> just, just thinking about how I was going to spend my money. I still might end up getting the iron armor for Theodore eventually. It's hard to say whether physical or magic will be a bigger problem in the future. Good work, King Cecil. We'll have to say thank you to our father for doing such a good job killing the monsters. Oh, hey, Rose's mom. I guess your grandma... Oh yeah, they'll be love they'll be real happy to see me, that's for sure. You can always trust King Cecil, right? Oh, I wonder where Sid. He's probably busy building a new airship or something. We are from around here, yo. That's the secret ent entrance into the castle. We're not from around here. Would someone who's not from around here be able to find 500 gil in the middle of a... In the middle of nowhere? Middle of a grass field behind town? Would someone who's not from around here be able to find all this stuff? Hmm? That's right. We take that back, youngsters. What are you peeking at? This is where the dancer was. Trying to get some sun. I need to dance! <laughs> I guess uh, Cecil may have banned dancing. Maybe it was Rosa. <laughs> Queen Rosa got tired of it. I can't resist picking up all the loot. We may or may not use it. Alright. It's just about everything for this town, I bet. I suppose we might as well check in with uh, Sid's family. Didn't notice that, that was a white mage there the first time, that's all. Just checking bushes for stuff, you know. Sid's daughter now, look at this. He's probably playing with his airship. He's not young, that's the truth. <laughs> I am surprised he's alive every time I see him. Mid? Wow, he's got grandkids already. I don't see his wife around. wonder what happened to her. Hmm, so we can actually just buy these things nowadays. Newfangled contraptions. Alright, if we get turned into a pig, that'll fix it. If we get turned into a mini person, that'll fix that. Okay. It's always good to have the basics covered, right? You're not always going to have it soon and ready to go. Unicorn horn. Just we need it. They visited the moon once, maybe even twice. Hopefully the day will come when regular people can go there too. Yeah, keep waiting. Fierce monsters in Mist Cave when the moon is at its brightest. It's not a, it's not a full moon. We're good.
I'm sure he's happy to have me and mom. <laughs> I'm surprised that they didn't damage the town at all, to be honest. Yeah, King Cecil, he's the man. Is she really more beautiful? It seems like they were looking pretty old to me. Not as agile and strong as they were when they were younger. Why are the monsters multiplying? That is always the big question. Where do all these monsters come from? How do people get around? Huh. Time for a family reunion. No one. Well, surely, surely his son is... Like, I am the crown prince. Yeah. What? Out of the way, soldiers. Huh? <laughs> you guys, you guys gotta count how many huhs we get. What do you mean, wasting? This is where I want to go. Um, strange hooded man. Pretty sure I joined with you to get back to Castle Baron. so pale. I wonder if they are zombie zombie guards. Just like what? This has happened before? Well, someone snuck through here before. Someone's got a key, right? Let's have a look around the town. Sure. These mages are just going to follow us around. <laughs> what are we going to get these guys into? They don't care. Alright, strange, sketchy guy behind the town wall back here. I am from around here. Give me the key, you jerk. Maybe Sid's family has the key. I don't really want to have to talk to everyone again. Oh, hey, there's an old man here. Oh, it's the same old man as before. <laughs> I thought that was a new old man. Don't suppose you guys have a key. Yeah, of course you are. Thanks. <laughs> Very convenient that Sid's daughter was just holding on to the key. At least she recognizes us. Probably. Hmm. Wonder why the guards wouldn't let us in and why we expect everything to be normal if their guards are weird. Treasure! Is this the one that has like a double treasure? Like somewhere in the middle? I think I'm thinking of a different secret passage. Okay! The ancient waterway! Now, this was pretty dangerous the uh, the first time I went through it. Seems pretty strong. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Yeah, these guys don't mess around. I guess with double physical, this might be a really bad place for us. I like the fact that the Black Mage, now that he's dead, is just a hat. I even upgraded their armor. I'm surprised they died so easily. That's that's pretty bad. I guess we better change the time around. All right, back it up. The mages don't have enough HP to handle this this double attack power mumble jumbo, right? Yeah. I was thinking we'd be okay, but I was definitely wrong. I will also buy them the upgraded armor. In fact, we'll hand me down Theodore's Sage's surplus and just buy him the iron. That should be 
because eh, it's not a much upgrade, but there you go. Helps those two out. So what I'm thinking with with Theodore here is we'll have some extra magic and we'll have some extra normal defense rather than just stacking one or the other. And then the mages just get the best they can get. Yeah, that, that's my decision. Okay, we basically bought all the best stuff we can buy. Let's switch the uh, moon around a little bit. So let's see what a new moon is like. Less white magic, more throwing stars. Well, that should be pretty neutral. We'll heal a little bit worse, but uh, other than that, we should be okay. Black magic might be the best, but... We'll see how this goes. Also, when you have an easy fight like this. Not nearly so troublesome. They still did a lot of damage to old, good old Black Mage there. How... Huh. Huh. <laughs> pull the Cecil, or pull the Seador there. Max HP. It doesn't, that's not the kind of thing I like using early on. Like, I'm worried that Seador is going to change his class like his father did. And any permanent upgrades would be a waste. Bonk that gator. gator. I mean, might as well collect all the silver apples. That sounds great. I don't know which way has loot and which way has progress. Okay, immediately slapped. Snake ladies. This is what the Vipers from uh, XCOM 2 are going to look like. Okay, I could have gone into the water. That's got to be where some treasure is. Got to go back for the treasure. <laughs> Oh, that worked pretty good. We don't have a ton of MP on that Black Mage, but when he can use his his era spells, he does pretty good damage. It's got to be something. What? We can't actually get into the water? Well, that's disappointing. What's the point of having that little bridge there? I thought for sure there'd be a ladder into the water. Oh well, oh well, let's continue on. It feels like our Black Maid charges up his spells pretty slowly compared to uh, the old Rydia and Porum days. Seems like we still heal quite a lot through the menu. The moon phase might only affect healing in battle, like in, in actual battles rather than in the menu. I don't know.
Well, if I remember correctly, this this dungeon isn't all that big, so we should be doing fine. Until we run out of MP on the Black Mage, anyway. Um, attack. I suppose it takes so long to charge up this Black Magic that we still might kill them faster just on normal attack auto battle. Unfortunately, that does not heal enough. Ooh, Tsunami, very cool, but how bad is it? How bad is it, coach? It could be worse. Doesn't seem like these guys are weak to Thunder, specifically. So in battle, Cure did about 31 to everyone or so, give or take. It does more from the menu, for sure. Pretty sure that's a straight upgrade. So healing in battle is actually worse than healing in the menu. Perhaps specifically while the, uh, the phase of the moon is like this anyway. Oh good, ambushes. Let's see how dangerous this thing is. Oh, counterattacks, good. Looks like he's having a hard time, like, permanently stoning him. HP. I don't know how partial stoning works in this game yet either. I'm pretty sure I read that the Gaia gear prevented it, but guess what we're not wearing anymore. It looks like Stone Gaze might just slow you now rather than turning you to slow stone in three steps. Alright, thank you, Black Mage, you did a good job. Ooh, a Coral Sword. Lightning Elemental. So, buying this weapon was not a big deal, but there you go. Isn't there a path? Looks like this was a dead end, alright. I don't think we got a Coral Sword here when we came through it with Cecil. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, seriously, you guys got way more attacks in than you needed. There we go, Theodore getting some kills in. Proud. I'm not proud of the battle encounter rate. The electro the electrofish are not weak to thunder. They in fact absorb thunder. Ah. Maybe I should have a rule where we like fight every second battle or something. 
depending on how bad the encounter rate is. Okay, we want to get that. Yeah, we'll fight this one, sure. The fact that the Gygus Gators get two attacks is not very nice. It's an odd... Oh, this was a shortcut. This is what I was looking for. So this would have connected us up to the Coral Sword if I'd gone that way. So I didn't need to backtrack. I thought there was a way through, but you know how it is. Okay, well, this dungeon's a little bit more dangerous than the last one, but uh, I think we're holding it together. Well, that won't do, having the white mage um, uh, whatever silence. That, that would be quite bad. Soma drop. That's permanent MP upgrade. Very nice. Hydras? I don't know, that bad. <laughs> They're probably weak to thunder. Should be a rest point here? Yeah. There is very often a secret to the right of the save areas. <laughs> it's actually quite a large area here we can walk through, but... Well, let's see what the next phase of the moon is. So we went from... Weak magic, strong ninja stars to weak black magic, strong white magic. You know, that's fine. Alright, well, we're almost in the castle. Let's go uh, see what's up in there before we wrap this episode up. Seeing as we're just about there. Also weak to thunder. I'd say learning as soon is probably a good idea before a difficult battle if there is one coming up. So I wonder now that Cure Magic is boosted if it heals more in battle than in the menu now, now that it's been changed around. Now, our king, I'm pretty sure our dad, did guard this when he was in charge. So something's definitely up if we can sneak through there. Well, they should be. Where else could our parents be? What are their names? Uh... Cecil and Rosa? Seriously, dude. No, nothing. I thought we uh, cleared this up back in Mysidia, who I was. Were you not listening? Watch yourself? Well, sure, there's probably a story your dad has told you about sneaking into the castle and then meeting a monster right around here. <laughs> Wait a second, how can Cedor leave the party? <laughs> yeah, these guys, why are they still here? Can we go home? Yeah, accompany you to Baron. <laughs> Something bad is brewing. Sounds like it. No, give me back my armor. I spent so much money on that. It, it's okay. 
Well, we lost our expensive armor. It was worth upgrading them. It made that jerk dungeon a bit easier. Someone's voice? Well, the hooded man is pretty strong. Oh, people locked up. Oh, someone was smart enough to lock the dungeon doors. So, if all the guards are in prison, who stopped us at the gate? And why are we so loyal to Cecil out of, or Theodore out of no... Like, just out of the blue. It looks like all the mages are gone, too. This guy seems very loyal to a kid he just met. Hmm. Wonder where he went. Oh. Hey Cecil. This looks like you survived. You're alright. Oh, you're going to keep bringing peace to the world. Awesome! <laughs> so the hooded man may... No, well, that's cool. That's interesting. Do I know you? Of course not. If you're just a straight beggar, how did you get into my castle? Where, what happened to all my guards? That doesn't sound much like the Cecil I know. Mysteries upon mysteries. Yeah, this place is pretty empty. Well, something happened. <laughs> Looks like the monsters killed everybody, sure. Let's just be leaving. Yeah, it's not hanging around here. This is Theodore's tale. We couldn't tell it without him. We're actually tied in levels these days. Well, a little bit sad that we don't have our, um... Nobody refilled the chest yet. <laughs> a little bit sad that we don't have our mages with us, unfortunately. It's good, I didn't want to go through that dungeon anyway. Yeah, so now what? You're gonna go look for the Enterprise, huh? Where could it be? Didn't you say you had business in Baron? There's an uninvited guest here earlier. I don't know how he got in. <sighs> look, if you just asked the previous tenants, they would say you need to guard that waterway. Go after some random hooded man. I don't know his name, but he seemed suspicious. Huh? <laughs> oh, Theodore, you're terrible. Yeah, go where? To Mist. Should we go on a full moon, guys? I hear it's fun on a full moon. Apparently we're friends now. Seven MP? Let's uh let's test that out. Must have been the port we used back before we developed airships. We'll test this out, then we'll end the episode. Oops, we're in auto battle.
Well, it only is single target, unfortunately, so... That's pretty good damage. I mean, it's just goblins, so... What do you really expect, eh? Alright, well... I think next episode and next session we will head over towards the mist. We lost our mages, unfortunately, but uh, I'm sure we'll survive without them. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed, and have a great day.